welcome this is going to be our last uh, video about deployment using group policy uh, for software deployment section software installation slash deployment and help this v1.0 course so this is another method you have learned how to deploy a software through one computer using a software through the network you have learned how to install a software which can then install agents to, or agents on other compu computers and then you can deploy software to those computers you can now also use a different method which is called group policy and this is usually a domain connected environment and you have a domain controller with this ability by using that domain controller machine you can actually deploy uh, you know softwares to other uh, computers in your network it is a very powerful feature a lot of people are using it just to show you an example if you go to the real, real world example now and you put help this group policy you will see so many titles coming with help this you can see right here a lot of people are asking do you uh, basic ex basic experience by administrator active directory uh, and group policy this means they may ask you a question do you know how to deploy a software through group policy do you know how to do a basic maintenance in group policy can you uh, you know a search certain things in group policy on the computers so or you can you up, uh, do the uh, update on other computers uh, using group policy stuff like that you know so usually this skill is a little advanced skill and if somebody wants to do advanced uh, you know learning then they will be going to the sysadmin route where you're going to be learning about servers its features and then you really learn about group policy in advance but here we're going to only touch up things that kind of uh, is a help this position uh, skill requirement for this group policy settings now in our uh, if you look at the section below that there's a group policy management section so we're going to be covering this in detail so don't worry too much right now only focus on how we can use deployment uh, through group policy so in this lab my recommendation is that to log into the domain controller account as a help desk because if you log in directly to the administrator account that was a built-in administrator then you may come across some issues so my recommendation is that just use a help desk account because it works on all, all of these machines so our source machine is going to be the domain controller and our deployment machine is going to be the help desk we could have used this one too but usually because you're in the lab environment dns may have issues this is not a real dns and everything so my recommendation is to use the domain controller and log in with the help desk and then create this uh deployment so let's go ahead and log into this domain controller with this help desk account so if you see hq slash administrator here then on the bottom just go to other users and change other users to help us okay so when your server turns on you see this is the first thing it opens up the server manager to get to the group policy it is the same way like you're going to the active directory users and computers but now if you go down group policy management is over there you can also uh, get to this by uh, from your help this machine the same same way so if we see that any deployment we need a software to deploy and this is where group policy uh, usually work a little different than other softwares because you're using now a Windows feature basically using that all of that uh, you know uh, comes in this do from this domain controller so you gotta have a domain controller machine to work this other than this you cannot do this this is this is the the skill that you're learning is group policy uh, you know because of this domain controlled environment you can't just put a software from some third party and then install it on any machine it won't work that way so the first thing is to get that whatever you want to deploy get that from the soft from the site so I'm, I'm trying to do the zoom installation I already went to the site and I downloaded the MSI every site if you try to do group policy then you'll be doing MSI and basically the way it works is that let's say if you're downloading FileZilla then you're gonna look for the FileZilla MSI and then you will be deploying that to the other machines and uh, the way it works in the, the group policy you similarly like other software you need to create some type of share 
folder so other computers can actually see this and grab this policy because you're going to apply this policy to other machines and the other machines are going to say okay where is that file where is it located if it doesn't have a, a, a correct per permissions then it won't work so you need to create a folder first we need to put something let's say deploy and let's just call it three I might have deployed somewhere else so I'm just going to go to properties and in properties I'm going to click on sharing advanced sharing and then share this folder and then I'm going to click on permissions I'm going to select everything here because this is a lab environment I'm also going to add domain users and just apply just to that and I'm going to also add help desk now you may not have to add all of these you can actually try just everyone and if it works then great if not then I will show you where you need to go and check for the logs to fix this we're looking for this path right here okay this is going to be important in the group policy so because if you don't use this path like this and you use let's say for example let's just go ahead and create it we're gonna go to tools now and now we're creating the source to deploy to other computers this this zoom file we're gonna go to group policy and open group policy now this is the group policy right here you see when you expand it just like Active Directory it opens up which gives you the domain and this is the domain policy that are being applied on other machines we're only interested in this section about deployment so we're gonna go to edit and here is like a million of different type of settings you can do but we're not interested in this right now we're gonna click on policies under computer configuration because we wanted to apply on everything anybody logs into that computer should get this software and here's the software installation you're going to right click on it you're going to click package in package you see the path is like this you need to change that you need to click here and then basically you're going to click on slash and then enter you see there's nothing right now because i need to put that software inside this folder so let's go ahead and do that first so i'm going to copy this And you could do this before that. You can just drop it in the folder and it will show up right here. And now if I click, double click on it, you see I see this pop-up. If you get an error here, then you have a problem with your path. You need to fix that first, just like I did. I'm going to click OK. And now, what we're telling this computer, that this Zoom is ready now. Any computer that gets restarted, or you can also apply a command on that computer to wake it up and say hey there's a group policy so some of the group policy it will work if you use this command right away you don't need to restart but for installation most cases are like it's gonna ask you that okay there's a policy that is being applied on this machine but you really need to restart to for this to work so if I come here and I open CMD on this computer and when you type GP update force slash force this is gonna force that policy on this machine if it's something small like you know changing a minutes of this computer locking this computer down or something else it will work but if something like this when you do this it's gonna say hey you need to restart this machine so let's go ahead and restart this machine if everything is good then you will see that okay there's a group policy installation pending I'm gonna install this software and everything will show up on this computer no problem but if there's an issue with this installation and the way we're doing right now it may just say okay it's not working you know so I'm gonna show you if this happens I'm gonna show you how you can actually check logs to see where the error for group policy is you can find that in inside the computer very easily uh, and it may not work in this environment it may work so you see it's getting ready right now it's doing the updates um, we're going to wait for this and let it start okay so now we're gonna log in and check if that worked if not then I'll show you where you need to check uh, for errors so we should have gotten a message that there's a software installation pending or it's installing so how do you find if there's an issue going on? You need to go to the events inside the computer. It's uh, something that we will discuss in our troubleshooting section, but for now, you can just go to the events, and usually 
group policy type of errors or anything feature related that don't don't go inside the application you will see that if you click on application you're not going to see errors related to group policy so where do you actually see what's going on inside group policy you need to click on system so this needs this will take some time to come up but there's nothing you can find here so we're gonna go ahead and click on system and I'll show you we should have received some type of warning or error and specifically it will tell us what is going on and why it the deployment failed so we're gonna go down you see right here uh, this is the warning right here the first warning this is actually not related to group policy so that we're gonna ignore that and here specifically tell you that the group policy have a warning this don't tell you too much right you need to click on details and details you're gonna find more information and here it is the installation source for this product is not available verify that the source exists and that you can access it so you see how it's giving us this fully qualified domain name if I try to do even slash that it is working but remember we're in a lab environment where we were using not a, a a fully configured DNS and this is where things can mess up so if I type DC slash and I slash enter that way you see I can still access things so if I click on deploy 3 I can access that and no issues with that so why is it not working this is something we need to now figure out so what we can do here is that we can go to DC again this is DC and we need to go into let's say for example C drive because that's kinda like you know it's not when you put something in a document you're using this profile and then things can get messed up with that so we're gonna create a folder we're gonna call it share and then here we are going to go to properties we're going to click on share and then we're gonna to go to advanced sharing share this folder go to permissions and here we're going to click on everyone apply ok apply ok and now DC share is the new share and I'm going to copy and paste it right here okay now I'm gonna to go to the group policy and remove this one and I'm going to create a new package and this time I'm gonna to go to this PC C drive share but hold on that's wrong right we don't want to do that we want to do DC slash share enter and now we're gonna pick this software and assign it okay we're done with that now let's go back to the help desk and do it one more time CMD GP update slash force and then we're going to restart this machine all right so I'm gonna go ahead and restart this machine and wait for it to see if it worked okay so when we logged in with the second time when we did the share you see the zoom uh, just got installed so the thing the reason I did this and show you the whole process and show you also how to find uh, issues when you come across in group policy this is where you're going to be looking the events is going to be your place to look for this stuff also it's very sensitive on on uh, paths and that's why I did that for a purpose so I can show you and demonstrate that to you that how sensitive it is if you put that deploy software inside your profile then other people are gonna have issues even though you're an admin you give it all the access and everything you still are gonna have some type of issues so your environment has to be really nice you know through from DNS all that kind of stuff needs to be really good because you're using the share slash DC you're not even using a fully qualified domain name so things can get messed up the way you put stuff in group policy and that is the key right there if you master the path and understand the sharing the access and everything 
then you're gonna have fun with group policy but if you don't know how to use this stuff and you don't you're messing these paths and share and permissions you're gonna have hell time a hell of a time with this type of deployment so again this was just a demonstration to show you that this is another product uh, a feature from a Microsoft that you can use for deployments and this is a very powerful feature because sometimes when you use group policy there could be something let's say for example I'll give you an example that let's say I use PDQ and I push out FileZilla to 300 machines and that is a one-time push and I'm using a free version meaning I cannot even use schedule or stuff like that more advanced stuff and I can use this group policy then maybe out of 300 there's 40 machines that were turned off that didn't get it or people were in vacation so they came back they turned on their machines group policy kicked in and they got the software if it was something like locking their machines down and things like that they will get that if I maybe run a command and say hey restart all these machines and then they will get it so this is kind of like the power of group policy but of course we are going to discuss group policy in, in a much more detail in, an, in a future section uh, in this course See you in a different video.